Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a video that has been requested a few times and it is to do a tutorial um, showing you how to paint your nails as a professional would. Um, it's definitely one of my pet hates um, when I see that somebody has an amazing nail design or they're really talented at that but actually their nail painting is not that great. Um, so as you know, not everybody can go and get their nails done by a professional all the time. It'd be really good to know how to do it yourself. So when you want your nails all nice and red or with a dark colour like I have on today, um, it's really crucial to get it looking nice and clean and crisp. So that is what I shall show you today. Um, I'll do a dark colour today, but I will also do another video on a French polish which has been requested too. And um, yeah, it's a really easy thing to do painting your nail well nails but it definitely is a case of practice makes perfect especially when you're painting your other hand for me it would be painting my right hand um obviously being right-handed so you know it just takes practice so um give it a go once you've watched this video any more information that you want please check out my blog the um, link will be in the description bar below and um okay so that, that, thing i'm going to show you is how to paint your dark color and for that i am going to use a red um here obviously mine is OPI um, but any colour that you want to use, any dark one, this is the more important one because this is where you can get it all over the cuticles and that's when it starts to not look so good. Um, my one must for any kind of painting whether it's light or dark is a base coat. My favourite is Nail MV from OPI, this is the original one, you can get them in all sorts of different um, uh, formulas for peely nails or weak nails that kind of thing so um, that is a really good one and this one basically will help give the nail something to protect it from the pigment from your darker colour especially it also gives something for the nail varnish to stick to just to give it a little bit more adhesion there so what we'll do is go ahead and just pop that onto all the nails and with this you don't want the coat to be too thick, just enough um, on there so that you can it will dry fairly quickly. Now you don't have to wait for that to dry completely before you put your next coat on. Um, like I said, it gives something for the nail varnish to stick to, so if it's a little bit tacky then that's always good too. Then what I'll do is just zoom you in and I'm going to demonstrate what you don't want to do first. So as you can see, all my nails there are nice and shiny, so we've got the top coat, the base coat on, sorry. And then using my little finger to demonstrate, what we don't want to be doing is taking it all the way down into the cuticle and flooding and getting it all over the finger and the skin. That is not what we want to do. So I'm going to just zoom out slightly more. What we do want to do is leave a very small gap around the very edge of the nails so, so we don't go straight into the cuticle. And by doing this what you want to do is just put your, dip your brush into the nail varnish, you almost circle around the top of the bottle and take off the excess. And what you want to do is basically put the brush onto the nail and almost get it so that it fans out and you're just going to push down so that you're almost into the cuticle but not quite and then you're just going to brush up. And there you go, you can see there's a small gap at the very bottom. And then what you want to do is literally keep doing that. You may need to pop the brush back into the bottle and pick up more varnish. But I remember when I was at college I was always told to do it in three strokes, so one in the middle and one on either side. I think that's a good way to get your basic learning of the skill going, but it's not a necessity. I think if you need to put it on in five strokes that's fine, or ten that's fine. Do whatever you feel comfortable with. But the idea is literally so, we're just going around and leaving a small gap around the edge of the nail and then you'll get a nice neat finish so I'll do that again on the middle finger so you take it into the centre of the nail fan the brush out and push down and this is one of those things that if you 
have a shaky hand, you know, it's just a case of practice makes perfect. And obviously then your speed will come up as well. So into the middle, fan out and then push down. And even me who's been doing this for 10 years still does every now and again get it wrong. And if you do, that's what nail varnish remover is for. So there you go, that is your basics of how you would paint a dark colour. So then you'd probably apply your second coat, let that dry off for a moment and then put Now if you top. have managed to make a mistake, get it on the skin or anything, then all you would do is get a cotton wool bud and dip it into some nail varnish remover as I have and then very carefully just go around the areas where you've got it onto the skin. What you can do is if you get it whilst it's still wet using an orange stick or a cocktail stick, something like that, um, and you can just wipe around the area quickly before it dries. And so basically you'll get the gist, you would just go around and tidy up. With this you're then not going to get that gap around the edge but it is going to make it look a lot tidier and save you having to take it all off and start again. Um, if you try to go in, I'll try and do it now, you're basically going to take off too much of the varnish so you'll end up with it looking a bit messier. So the best thing to do is either if you have time start again or just take it off around the skin and it doesn't look quite so bad. So that is the techniques there for painting a dark colour on your nails. I hope you find that helpful and I hope you give it a go. I'll see you in the next video.